Good morning, my fellow human beings. I'm I Love Everyone, and today we're going to be talking about zero waste and hygiene. But before I started, I just wanted to attract your attention to the window. It is nighttime, and I really like saying good morning when it's not morning. I actually hardly ever film videos in the morning, and so I wanted to attract your attention to the fact that it is indeed not morning in this video, as it is not in most of the videos that I film. I wanted to make a quick disclaimer that this video will be talking about more personal type of hygiene, so if you're uncomfortable with that type of discussion, or you are below the age of 11, you can probably click off now, um, but for everyone else, please stay. I want to talk about zero waste and sex, really. Um, the first thing that we're going to be talking about is condoms and... Unfortunately, condoms are a non-preventable type of plastic. I hear rumors that they're working on more biodegradable condoms, but right now those are not readily available and I assume they'd be crazy expensive if, even if they were. I'm pretty sure I saw a condom wrapper in Lauren Singer's trash jar and she has actually gotten fairly uncomfortable in a few talks where people ask her what's in her jar. Um, so I, I think there are some condom wrappers in there, but there really aren't any good alternatives, and, but you should still use condoms. Don't be that strict about your zero waste. Stay safe. Um, just because it's plastic doesn't mean you should avoid it. So use protection. So for the remainder of this video, I am going to be talking about periods, so if you are a guy, you could probably click off right now. I'll see you back here in two weeks for my next video. Because most of the zero wasters are women, this is kind of a thing that most of us have to deal with, and mostly we drag the guys into this sort of thing, and I wanted to let the zero waste women know that moon cups and diva cups, whatever they are, are not your only option. And I personally felt so uncomfortable with the idea of something that would stay in my vagina for like a whole day. I was not a fan. And so I was hesitant to make the switch and I happened to come across a video by a girl who's from Sexplanations, um, Dr. Doe, talking about different types of reusable um, period wear. And so this really opened my eyes because I didn't want to use a Diva Cup and I've never tried one. I'm sure like it works for tons of people, but I hear that it also doesn't work for a bunch of people. And so if you're in that boat and you're a zero waster, there are more comfortable ways. You can use reusable pads. You can buy them in like a bunch and they come in plastic packaging. You can buy them on Etsy and you can make like tons of custom things. Um, I'll put all these links in the description. The way reusable pads work is that you basically just put them on your over your underwear like you would a normal pad, but they have snaps instead of the adhesive, and basically you just take them off, rinse them in the sink, and then throw them in the wash, and it's really easy, and you know, it's also not insertable. You can also get crocheted tampons and they're basically just a rectangle. I suppose you could also make them yourself if you know how to knit or crochet, but you just roll them up and then put them in your vagina, which I think is so cool. Like that is a great invention. And you know, she tests them herself to make sure that they're comfortable, um, which is pretty cool as well. My personal favorite option is period panties and basically it's this it comes in plastic packaging and this is the hip hugger and it holds as you see two tampons worth of blood although I've really never had a leak and I wear them for a full day which is really nice not having to worry about changing anything or anything leaking and the reason that I like them over pads or even the reusable pads 
is that I tend to waddle in pads. I just feel like my legs are spread too far apart and I'm walking uncomfortably. But this, they really feel like a normal pair of underwear, except the crotch is a little bit thicker, which I really like. You know, I just put it on and I really, for the most part, don't feel like I'm on my period, except for, you know, the cramps and all the other side effects. But, you know, when all of those things are going on, I really don't feel my period, especially on the lighter days. I don't have to think about it. I just take them off, rinse them off like you would a reusable pad, throw them in the wash. They actually have to be hang-dried. You can't put them in the dryer. But, and, you know, I recommend draping them over something because the crotches take a really long time to dry otherwise. Upside down on top of, like, an empty beer bottle or something. I don't know if that's... Or a cup or upside down cup or something. I don't know why beer bottle is the first thing I thought of. Um, yeah, being being a college student. <laughs> They're really easy and that's really all the packaging they come in. They ship them to me in a plastic bag as well, but they're kind of expensive. I calculated if you have a five-day period, they pay for themselves in four each one pays for itself within four periods, and I got, I originally got three, and I would put a tampon in and then wash them, like do a load of laundry in the middle of my period, and then I would keep wearing them. Um, fortunately, I was able to buy three more, I'd buy them in threes because you get a 10% discount, or buy like five of them and get like a 15% discount. It's a company called Thinks, they're relatively new, and I love them. I absolutely love it. It's the best thing. And now when I put tampons in, I'm just really uncomfortable. I'm like, why would I be shoving something in my vagina that I have to just have there all day that's uncomfortable and horrible? And I'm not really a fan. So this was a great alternative. I will present links for everything that I'm talking about in the description because I really, really encourage you to try other things. Don't feel like because you're a zero waster, you have to try the moon cup. I understand if it works for you, if that's what you want, then awesome. If it hasn't worked for you, or you're just uncomfortable with the idea of trying it, you know, especially because they do cost like $30 a piece, they're cheaper alternatives. When you buy a pair of period underwear, you know, there's a little bit of if as to whether it will work. If you buy a Diva Cup, there's a lot more if about whether it will work. If you buy, like, a reusable pad, there's really no if as to whether it will work. And I just wanted to put all those options out there to the zero waste community. I have really not seen anybody so far who has done anything other than the Moon Cup, which is a little bit annoying I guess because it's one of those things that has been branded in the zero waste community and so I'm here to break the monopoly and bring other options to the table. Um, thank you guys for watching and DFTBA. Don't forget to subscribe because my last video had almost 300 views on it which is so huge for my channel but I only got like one or two new subscribers so please, it helps me so much if you subscribe and we can help grow my channel and be a community together. You could also like it, which I don't really care about as much. You know, watch my videos. Yeah, thanks.